Okay, so uh, a very good afternoon, everybody. Uh, today we have uh, a student's introductory presentation uh, on the final uh, uh, text uh, in contemporary uh, literature. Uh, and this is uh, written by Julian Barnes. And the title of the novel uh, is The Only Story, uh, written by Julian Barnes. Now, we have seen up till now uh, in this uh, journey of studying contemporary uh, uh, English literature that in one text we have studied uh, where the setting, uh, the background of the setting was around Varanasi or let us say from Varanasi to Kota, but some part of central India only, not much of uh, geographical locations are changing in one novel that we have studied. In another novel, we have studied that uh, by and large, pan India is covered geographically from uh, central India to Kashmir, that is North India, down south uh, uh, and western part of India, Gujarat. So there was a large geographical cover uh, covering of that. But India, pan India was covered up in one another novel. In the third novel, we have seen that uh, it goes beyond India beyond continents and around three continents are covered as the geographical uh, locations. And along with the geographical locations, this all novels were also having a, a kind of a wide range uh, of dealing with the topics, subjects which are, uh, which are of grave concern in our time also, in today's time also, all these concerns are uh, very vital uh, to be understood with proper critical uh, insights. There. Uh, so we had uh, India, uh, uh, then we had uh, uh, Italy, that is Europe, and then we had America, uh, Brooklyn, Los Angeles also in the last novel that we have studied. Now this novel, uh, from that angle, when you take a look at this novel, we find that this novel is rather a self-exploration. It is not going outside. So there is the, the geographical location in this novel you will find is not the outside world. It is more of an inside world. So there is lots of dealing with the memory of the narrator. So an individual character and uh, the exploring uh, or the geography that we explore is not the outside world, but an inside world. So in that way, there is a, a very interesting change that we will pursue uh, in this last novel in this paper, the only uh, story. And uh, the tool which will be used here for that journey, for the journey or traveling, the tool uh, will be memory. Through memory, uh, we will be going inside uh, one character's uh, past uh, or history, uh, we can say. Uh, and then uh, 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 the things will be explored. Uh, the only sentiment that it deals with, uh, the only sentiment that is about love, about love and how the love is pursued in a very young days. And then subsequently, as people grow and become old, how they look at love. So how that is changing, that is about this story. The only story is about uh, the, the emotion of love, that in a much younger days, how the, the people pursue or protagonist will experience that. Uh, and then as he grows into the older life, how love becomes a kind of a responsibility or a kind of a burden also a kind of a burden or a responsibility which sometimes becomes very difficult to carry out also or it becomes a kind of a bondage or a shackle uh, in, in anybody's life also so that way this novel uh, the only story tries to have a personal exploration so let us have a student's introductory presentation here and let us see how uh, we are introduced to this particular uh, uh, novel here so I would invite uh, one by one the group of students uh, uh, who are going to make presentations there. So today we have this group, Daya, Riddhi, Nidhi, Aditya, and Sneha. They are going to make uh, the presentation uh, as an introduction to this novel. Okay? So you can now come and start. Hello. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Uh -huh. I will share my screen. Shall I start, sir? Yes. 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 
Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to present introductory presentation on the text, The Only Story by Julian Barnes. And uh, this task is assigned by Dr. Dilip Barad, sir. And uh, we are five members in the group, Daya Vaghani, Riti Bhatt, Nidhi Chetva, Aditi Vala, and Sneha Agravat. We are going to deal with these things, introduction, key facts, characters, setting, narrative technique, title, summary, themes, critics, view, official websites, learning outcome, and work cited. And first, first of all, I would like to start with author's introduction. Julian Banks was born in 19th January 1946 in Leicester, England. His pen name is Dan Kawang and uh, Edward Page. His occupation is a writer. His genre is novels, short stories, essays, and memories. His literary movement is postmodernism. His notable awards are Prix Femina in 1992, Commander of Lord Des Arts at Des Letters in 2004, and Barnes has received numerous awards and honors, of, honors for his writings, most recently the David Cohen Prize for Literature in 2011, the 2011 Main Brooker Prize and the 2021 Jerusalem Prize and the 2021 Yasta Colonial Literary Award. And also in 2021, he was awarded the Jean Bernard Prize, so named in memory of the greatest specialist in the hematology, who, who was a member of the French Academy and chaired the Academy of Medicine. And uh, next, we have, we have discussed some works of Julian Barnes. And uh, here we can see the, some works, the man in the red coat, the noise of the time, keeping an eye open, the sense of an ending, Elizabeth Finch and the only story. Only story is a novel by Julian Barnes and it, uh, written in, published in 2018 and it is his uh, 13th novel. According to Heller Kalpin, the only story is the first of Barnes' book, books not dedicated to his wife, Pet Kavang, who died in 2008. Significantly, the familiar conference poll contemplates portent just as readily to bereft morons as to people signed by romance gone every it is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. He wonders, and would you rather love the more and the suffer the more, or love the less and suffer the less? This letter query may be his scorch narrator asserts. Finally, the only real question, but then Barnes at Murray absolutes Eric words if you. If you can control it, then it isn't love. I don't know what you call it instead, but it instead the only story is about losing control, but also losing the ability to lose control. And some key facts of the text. Title of the text is the only story. Author of the text is Julian Barnes. Type of work is novel. Genre of text is a memory novel. It was published in 1st February 2018. Uh, the publisher is Jonathan Kept. This uh, text uh, setting in a stockbroker belt outside London in the 1960s century. The narrator of the text is Robert Paul. And this text is divided in three parts. Part 1 is the boy meets woman narrative told in the first person. Part 2 told in a, in a mixture of first and second person is decline of the love affair. And part 3 is the rest of Paul's life told mostly is a, in a mix of second and third person. And uh, this text is written in two. 213 pages. And for further presentation, I would like to call Daya. Uh, thank you, Aditi. Now let us move ahead with the introduction of the characters. So, uh, 
we have prepared this chart uh, so can we can understand uh, the relation between the characters first of all robert cole so robert cole is the protagonist of the novel the only story and the main point of view character of this novel much of the novel's narration is framed as paul's thought as he reflects upon his life as as a whole at the beginning of the novel uh, at, at the beginning of the narrative paul is 19 years old and he is living in suburban town in english in the 1960s he falls in love with susan mcleod that is, that is the second character and uh, paul paul is 19 year old while susan mcleod is 48 year old and susan mcleod is the female protagonist of this novel the only story then mr gordon mcleod he is the husband of susan mcleod and jack mcleod is the father of uh, mr gordon and susan mcleod and mr gordon has two daughters martha and clara mcleod susan mcleod has one best friend she is uh, john and uh, uh, his ex lover of susan mcleod is gerald and john and gerald are siblings then uh, paul's uh, uh, robert paul's university friends are eric barney ian and sam and from this eric is the best friend, friend of uh, robert paul and 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 is the later lover or later ex of robert pope so these are the major character of this novel then minor character mrs dyer who is maid at susan's home pedro christine and virginia uh, with whom uh, paul's paul's mother uh, paul's mother try to have a uh, have a date with christina and virginia then kindy is paul's ex uncle hums and aunt florence in childhood susan went to their house on vacation muris muris work at the reynolds news and john bell and and coordinate and dr kenny dr kenny is susan's psychiatrist then settings of the novel as sir has uh, said that uh, this novel is not about much geographical setting but we have inside setting though we find some major setting in the novel the major setting in the novel is london but the novel is start with the uh, very setting of the village stock broker belt the village the novel opens in the 1960 in suburban english town referred to as the village this is paul's hometown and it is where he first meets susan mcleod susan and paul carry on a secret relationship for about 2 years when paul finishes college paul and susan move to london to live together then another setting we can found is a tennis club paul and susan first meet at the local tennis club in the village they develop an immediate attachment and paul often drives susan between the tennis club and her home eventually this seemingly casual relationship develops into a romance as a, as their romantic relationship begins to be evident the tennis club expel both paul and susan then uh, the mcleod house After Paul and Susan begins their secret relationship, Paul often spends time at Susan and Gordon's home, that is called as Mcleod House. And uh, Gordon is unaware about the relationship between Susan and uh, Paul. Then another setting we can found is Wigmore Street and Henry Road, uh, that is in London. narrative techniques so this novel is uh, told uh, through the memory of the paul so whole novel is, is about the remembrance of the paul's memory and he himself explaining the things the, uh, the as aditi has said in key fact this that uh, this novel has a uh, three parts part 1 is about uh, uh, paul and susan's meeting and the whole narration is about the meeting in the memory of uh, as uh, through the memory of paul and this uh, part is uh, told in the first person then part 2 is told in mixture of first and we can find the mixture of first and second person narrative and it is about the decline of the love affair in the third part part 3 is the rest of paul's life told mostly in a mix of second and third person and at the last of the uh, novel uh, as paul says his final goodbye to susan now sedated in a psychiatric hospital he reverts to the first person so we cannot find any proper technique in this novel uh, somewhere we find first person somewhere second and somewhere third person so this is the narrative techniques of the novel then now for the title i would like to call nithi okay
thank you daya so uh, as you know that this only story has no material available so whatever we read whatever we understood and from that we gave the meaning of the title of this uh, only story so when i started the reading of this book the only story i got surprised that i i might know about this uh, like uh, what i what uh, it is about uh, which kind of story i know that it is love story then i found this first page the only story so you can see that the and story is written in a black uh, black font and this only so it is like uh, uh, it has some tragic and some uh, sorrow some pain so it is very significant also the book uh, front uh, uh, that a uh, front page and uh, yes uh, the only story started with a very interesting quote uh, and uh, which suggests our title uh, to okay, that most of us have only one story to tell i don't mean that only one thing happened to us in our lives and there are countless events which we turn into countless story but there is only one that matters only one final worth telling and this is mine so it is about a so this this only paragraphs can uh, can give a brief introduction about the text like which kind of story it is then we know to the, the, this is the only story of one person and uh, the person is the paul so uh, the title of the story the only story centered the pain reco uh, recollection of an uh, again english man's life and changing a uh, only love and he recognizes that uh, this failed relationship is the central to his identity and the only story that really matter about him so this whole story is about the paul robert which tell his story the story divided in a three part somewhere it is a first person somewhere it is in a second person and somewhere in a third person uh, and understood the understood uh, this uh, story it's a bit hard for us because uh when you started the reading then uh, i i found myself that in the uh, initial pages you forget what you have read further so you have to go uh, go back to the pages and read uh, uh, again so it was a uh, tough but uh, title uh, it is very easy to recognize that what kind of story it is and it is the only story of one particular person named robert paul and it is the life changing story of him uh now uh, summary of this uh, only story so summary is also interesting because um, the story matters a lot but the narrative technique met um, uh, matters a more a lot like a whole story describe that how memory play a very vital role in a one person's uh, life and yes especially robert paul also fall in the love with a woman who was a uh, 48 year old so you can imagine that the uh, age of robert paul when story started is it was around the 19 age and um, uh, the age of susan was around the 48 so you can imagine imagine the gap uh, age gap of the both person that uh, how one person feel in love or that sexual desire toward a uh, old woman so it is very interesting i analyze uh, i personally analyze the character of that robert paul so i found that it is a uh, some kind of our um, childishness or our immaturity that uh, lead us to do such a things so let's uh, do uh, discuss the uh, story so summary of the only story so part 1 part 1 is very interesting because in this uh, part we we came to know about the memory and uh, yes also we came to know about that how robert paul described uh, himself uh, and uh, the tennis uh, uh, tennis club is the most important thing where susan and paul were meet first time so it is the love story describe uh, description uh, in the initial part we came to know about the description of a time place environment then uh, a relationship development of susan and paul then uh, behavior of a different gen generation okay uh, through the character of our robert paul uh, our author julian barnes gave a social milieu of that time he also discussed some of the current uh, events of that time and uh, yes uh, one of the most important thing as sir mentioned that uh, this is a whole story uh, based on the memory and uh, robert paul's memory uh, play a very important role in this uh, novel uh, i also make a uh, separate blogs which contain uh, each point of the each paragraph that which kind of story it is and how robert paul want to describe this story and uh, rather uh tell his story so in the initial portion we uh, uh, apart from this and talking about this book in the initial portion we found that robert paul uh, paul want to say something 
but uh, then he denied to tell something and and again he tells same the thing that he won't he don't want to tell so it is quite confusing first uh, it, it is like i want to tell you something then i deny to tell you that and again i'm telling that so it is that kind of story i found that and uh, in the initial part we uh, come to know about the relationship um, so many character introduction like uh, eric in the first part we we made the character like eric Barnes, Len, Sam, discussion of Susan's family and uh, Susan's relationship with his husband. Uh, uh, Paul narrated that uh, Susan has no that uh, kind of intimacy, that kind of emotions with his uh, husband. Uh, for from the two decades, uh, two decades they living in a separate room and uh, uh, they has a two daughter. Um, but uh, the relationship between the daughter and parents were not quite so strong. And then uh, Mason, um, okay, so this uh, 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 Mr. Gordon McLeod is the husband, then Miss C and Miss Grimpy, uh, and uh, their actual name is the Martha and Clara, they, and they both are the daughter of Susan and uh, that Mr. McLeod. Then part two, part two is uh, uh, part two only discuss the relationship. Uh, between the Paul and Susan, they went to London, starting living living with each other. And uh, what kind of uh, changes uh, come in uh, in this relationship? Like uh, Paul uh, had uh, stopped or uh, had abandoned uh, his uh, law study. Uh, he had uh, work uh, on some company. And uh, Susan's uh, different behavior. Susan become alcoholic. And uh, um, also, it's a very it's a it's a it's a turn toward the tragic end. The second part of the story begins with the information about how Paul and Susan shifted London from their how to adjust thing. So in the first part, um, okay, Susan uh, Paul went to the character named John. John is the um, formal friend of uh, Susan. So he told that that now Susan and uh, Paul went to London, and because uh, this uh, setting is a uh, countryside. So everybody knows the relationship and uh, now they want to go somewhere. So Susan and uh, Paul shifted London. Uh, they rented one uh, house and started living with uh, each other. Susan's situation became a worse and she was uh, hospitalized due to over drinking. And uh, she uh, and her, uh, there she attack on a nurse. And uh, this kind of uh, tra trauma we are found in so many times, like uh, due to over drinking, due to over alcoholism, Susan, uh, uh, Susan went so many times, um, created so many things, police station scene also were there. So because of Susan, Paul, um, for now Paul has uh, some kind of uh, trouble in his life that now he won't, he don't want to live with Susan. He started uh, dating someone named Anne. So this chapter is about Susan's uh, madness, Paul's uh, uh, affection toward the Anne and Anne's attitude toward the Susan. Now Anne is the very, we, we can say that we are villain kind of as well as interesting character because and somewhere create uh, some kind of if effect on a poll about the susan that susan tell that uh, sorry and tell that uh, and tell to po poll that susan is not good for you she is not uh, caring about your dieting not caring about your study so this kind of episode we can found in this story and this part uh, end with this line but you begin to wonder not for the first time in your life if there is someone to be said for feelings less and now on uh, the, uh, this third part so third part, uh, part is very interesting it it's unfold each and every characters each and every events and what you was uh, very mysterious in this uh, in that board part the third uh, part reveal each and everything so third part um, somewhere is the second person narration somewhere third person and at the end we can found that paul himself wrote the story so now paul has different vision to looking at the sex as we know that the novel major talk about the theme of memory at the second page narrator reveals the role of a memory and third and now paul now paul is around 29 year old so this journey like a 10 year journey uh, create uh, so many change in the character of a uh, Paul. Now he is uh, mature. He understands the relationship, the de uh, the definition of a uh, love fr uh, from that. Uh, um, Paul's vision is totally different. Uh, he noted about the relationship, the definition of what from the love. He created his own uh, thinking toward love, and now he realized that relationship with Susan was um, one kind of disaster in his life.
and most of things belong to post diet and so this kind of, this are mostly talk about how pole uh, entry pole set is in a diet and this part uh, opens about every character like what might happen with the other character like mr mclord and his dad so uh, we also come to know that who who is the john john uh, was a uh, son john was the formal friend of uh, that um, uh, susan uh, uh, his only lady 53 year old then he's way to looking alive lady to looking to love what happened with mr what uh, might happen with uh, with mr mcclord like uh, after um, and the pressure of a pole and susan to london uh, he become very lonely now the mcclord house carry only uh, servants and mr mcclord then one day um, he also become very alcoholic and uh, one day on on a bed he he, he found her dead by one servant then miss uh, uh, two daughters clara and martha paul wrote a letter to clara and martha both that to come and bring your mother because i'm not able to carry him like uh, now see see uh, was for me like a burden what should i do with him it's like a burden for me so first clara denied then martha came and uh, took her mother with her, her. so this kind of thing and uh, uh the, the, it has a very tragic end that uh, we found that susan is hospitalized and uh, paul went from there so fourth robin den lo paul has become an office office manager he never has another serious relationship or children he eventually settled in a rural village where he uh, runs the forgro valley uh, art station uh, cheese company and bakes and still energized by memory of a uh, golden and he distribute and despi uh, uh, despise a uh, man and the ending part is very interesting and uh, here is the hidden mystery unfolded by the narrator and we come to know that what had happened with susan and the condition of a poll so this entire story uh, talk about the theme of a uh, love memory and loss and uh, yes um, the character development of uh, paul is very interesting there's a uh, one decade or we can say 10 year bring uh, so many changes in his character so the story end with her death of uh, susan uh, for the theme i would like to call the yeah uh, thank you nidhi uh, it was uh, very difficult to me uh, to find the themes in this novel because because we are already habitu habituated to find novel uh, ready uh, to, to find any uh, theme of the any text uh, from the material website or any website so it was very difficult to me uh, i found uh, that these four themes are major in this novel themes of memory theme of love loss and self self delusion pain and fulfillment and history versus memory first is theme of memory so uh, the whole story is about the memory of paul so the theme of memory is the major theme in this novel and we can find the weaknesses of memory and imperfection of memory in this novel through the characters of paul because sometimes he is uh, he is not a uh, uh, he is not true about uh, his own memory because he he uh, talk about the past and present and that are not relevant in this memory narrative tries to give effect of the fragmented memory he talk about the past and then uh, the previous year then again talk about the past so oh, whole memory are fragmented in this novel paul often forget that susan has two children at the end of the novel and in his mind she is to be rescued from the mothering which he sees as rising social acceptance combined with the slow emotional diminution so we can say that paul he himself not aware about his own memory so the theme of memory is here uh, found as the weakness of the novel as uh, paul himself said about the memory is that i think there is a different authenticity to memory and not an inferior one memory sorts and shifts according to the demands made on it by the rememberer then another novel is about theme of love loss and self delusion because paul's uh, love with susan is very interesting because paul is of 19 year old while susan is of 48 year old so we can find the age difference between these both character and because of uh, that he lost perhaps he lost her uh, love 
he uh, he means paul is a 19 year old university student while susan is 40 year or 48 year old and a mother of two daughters in london suburban stock baker belt sometimes in 1960s i think here is a mistake 1960s the love was by its very nature disruptive catalytic but then it is where not it may not have been love would it have the only story uh, according to the review of kirkus uh, on on the book of the only story the only story explores theme of first love loss and self delusion it also paints a portrait of a generations bans own whose ideals have floundered over the course of the course of the 20th century and early 21st century the novel was generally well received by critics who found it a somber but well convinced Uh, we can find many uh, quote about the love in this novel so the uh, i have mentioned five quotes from there then the theme of pain and fulfillment in the story's examination of the various contradictions and challenges inherent within the concept of love the narrative seeks to utilize paul and susan's relationship as demonstrating how to fulfillment and suffering are not only inevitable in a romantic relationship but are also often simultaneously phenomena the narrative first introduced this idea by the opening of the novel as follow would you rather love would you rather love would you rather love the more and suffer the more or rather love the less and suffer the less in this way the narrative immediately draws a thematic connection between the fulfillment and the suffering of the pole that uh, underlies the story of susan and paul's relationship at first the narrative highlight highlights the passion and complete fulfillment that paul experiences in the early st stages of the relationship with susan he says that i was 19 and i knew that love was incorruptible proof against time and tarnish then a theme of history versus memory we, we can find the personal history of the paul in this novel and through this history uh, he is telling the uh, story and story is moving ahead with criticizing memory the novel also questions the history one of the uh, central idea the novel pointed is unreliability of history because Uh, i will give uh, some quotation in this in my learning outcome about the in unreliability uh, unreliability of the history and in this novel we can find personal history of paul and what we believe history as truth is unreliable because uh, without documenting anything we cannot uh, able to rely on that things now for critics view i would like to call read the Uh, yes <clears throat> so i am presenting critics view so first uh, critic view is from the guardian cat clancy and uh, she said that the only story and xy uh, and xy quest <clears throat> look at love our pole's shoulder we glimpses other kind of love less romantic more common place but also more generative so all this means that the xy quest moment and there are many in the story or uh, in the only story come from its psychological equity especially about how we remember in pole's narrative experiences deconstruct themselves and uh, personalities decay in a uh, deventingly past and alluring rich potent present full of ironic turns of speech from which we infer great intelligence but she becomes reduced by the middle of the book to a series of uh, uh, repetitive tropes while even her nickname a uh, vital part of her charm are reduced to verbal tics mr ep for the man who hits her mr badger for paul she carries on asking a uh, desperate question on alt until we not just paul wonder if we ever know her at all then there is a second review from uh, the washington post by ron charles so he said that if a flubert reimagined kugeltown this is the novel we might get uh, 
so their relationship sounds scandalous ugar town reimagined by flubert but paul is quick to so, uh, such a titillation that you might think a french novel old, older woman teaching the art of love to younger men but there was nothing french about our relationship or about us we were english and so had only those morally laden english words to deal with words like scarlet woman and adulteress so he said that the very englishness of their affairs lends the whole encounter an extra layer of twitty oddness barnes emphasized that paul's erotic adventure takes place in a suburb of london in the 1960s a realign that not only represses sexual behavior but even the terms of censor there is a stainless to this himself uh, themes that's only partially uh by bans elegant style the way an expensive uh clone might distract us for a time from the mustiness of a well appointed sitting room indeed despite its uh, brevity there is a uh, something uh claustrophobic about the only story then third review from the hindu vanki vembu he said about that a haunting narrative of an uh, adesius love and a distant memory of it mapped over decades so in the only story julian barnes arguably one of fiction's most eligious cartographers of the heart and of the human condition <clears throat> returns to the, his first love the metroland of his debut novel with a haunting narrative of an uh, adesius love and a distant memory of it mapped over decades bands working with the clinical precision of a cardiac surgeon lays open the affair of uh, their heart with a wrench wrenching narrative that even when it doesn't quick validate the a uh, redemptive power of love is a uh, curiously uh, therapeutic he also said that the only uh, the only story that everyone has their love story susan one tells poles but it may uh, it may have been a fiasco it may have fizzled out it may never even have uh, got going it may have been all in the mind but it's their story she says it's the only story this then is paul and susan's story then uh, last and fourth uh, review from a uh, uh npr by hella uh, beautiful but heart rending the only story looks back at love gone wrong the only story is about losing control but also losing the ability to lose control the only story is about looking back on a life and trying to make sense of what happened it's heavier less suspenseful read with a focus on the love rather than death it's also far more interior and a tormented tale so that even its narrator feels the need to step back from it retreating from the first person i to the second person you and finally even further to the third person he bans explains this narrative self withdraw uh, withdrawal rather bluntly nowadays the rocosness of the first person within him was still <clears throat> it was as if he viewed and lived his life in the third person which allowed him to assess it more accurately he he believed uh, then official website of the author uh so yes this is the official website of the julian bans uh here you find there are all the books uh elizabeth and finch then the man in the red coat the only story and you can uh, search more thing about the only story then uh, uh julian bans biography uh, resources and uh, if you want to contact them so you can also uh now for a learning outcome i would like to call aditi please come here and share your learning outcome outcome here
from this uh, presentation I, I have experience uh, very good and i have learned so many things about the presentation like to how to adjust images uh, gif and map and also fonts and fonts colors and how to manage uh, presentation slides and their background and everything and uh, how to work in group at digital platform and many other things and for next learning outcome i would like to call the yes uh, but uh, i have read uh, the novel the only story and uh, from that i i found uh, these are things age difference in love we can find the age difference in love between paul and susan Uh, because Paul is a 19 year old and Susan is 48 year old, so how it creates the problem in our life if we sometimes we cannot understand our our lover or our partner. So as difference uh, affect a lot, then patient patient to achieve something. So in this novel, we can find that uh, uh, Susan is uh, when uh, Paul first met Susan at tennis club. At that time, Susan was a uh, 48 year old and and still she is. playing tennis so from that i have learned that if we have a hobby or we have a passion to do something the our age doesn't matter to it uh, so passion to achieve something uh, that is the major point then don't rely on memory so uh, i was talking about this quote and uh, uh, other many quotes we found in this novel that are about the unreliability of the memory paul says that i don't remember when we first kissed isn't that odd i can remember 6 or 2 7 or 5 2 or 6 i can remember that old drivers years in foul detail but i can't remember when or where we first kissed or who made the first move or whether it was both of us at the same time and whether perhaps it was not so much a move as a drift was it in the car or in her house was it morning noon or night and what was the weather like well you certainly won't expect me to remember that so uh, from that we can find that um, he he himself is not sure about his memory and uh, many other uh, quotation about the weather uh, weather and colors we find in this novel so from that we uh, i learned that keep documenting as sir also uh, says some uh, many times that keep documenting everything if we have a record of that things uh, that is no uh, question of uh, or forget about the memories then last is reading of original novel so it is a very uh, it, this novel is contemporary so we can we can't find any other uh, material about it to understand or we can't find any study guide about it so it is uh, very difficult to read the original novel because in for, in one page we can find uh, 10 to 15 uh, words uh, that uh, vocabulary that we don't know about their that meaning or etymology so it is very difficult and if i talk about the process of group task so it is a very uh, it was a, a very good for good experience for me to work with all these my work uh, group members and uh, Uh, we all had collectively uh, done this presentation very uh, very effectively and uh, further learning my outcome i would like to call nithi thank you daya so as we know the uh, had uh, that it is a group task and uh, working with group is uh, somewhere tough somewhere very easy because each and every members mentality but uh, we are so lucky because we are all hard working and we did a very good work so uh, uh, i'm talking about my learning out so it is uh, initially uh, that book uh, that copy is the only copy so they had told me that i want that original text so i said okay take it and uh, then i started the e pdf so i'm sharing my screen here that in the which way i have started the reading in the initial initial 7th or 8th page i read it 15 or 16 times because whenever i start reading i forget what the, he actually want to tell that so and with this uh, sir uh, uh, and the sir's logic also help me to so create uh, so many things write down so many things so sir uh, sir uh, once open that excel sheet so i prepare one excel sheet 
so some hard terms some references character list places which is very hard to understand me that it is the character list that these kind of character are there then hard term for understand me that hugos and caroline what was that the tennis wife the 2.4 children then clever clog and herald professor then mori uh, mori uh, moris minor is very very i found very interesting that i i was no i, I have no idea about that what was that and i, I googled it out and then found that we have that taxi uh, if you know about it let me show you and yes i also prepare the docs for material so it will be easy for us because uh, if we are working with notes with a notebook we also have to do this uh, uh, digital work so i i also um, preparing text only here mm, this the only story so uh, when i were I, when when i started uh, first i also wrote uh, uh, about this uh, uh, julian barnes then about only story i found uh, i try to found more and more articles about it then key facts it it, it is the um, it are uh, done by me after completing the whole book because it is a uh, very tough because uh, there is the no anything about only story um, beside these uh, three or four reviews then uh, also some uh, famous dialogue of a uh, main character and yes i'm to, and uh, these uh, yes i also divided the three part and the, some of the most beautiful quotes from the that three parts i i also try to preparing a, a summary but uh, later on i, I my, my mind was a tube lighted and i found that google keep is very good to note down some uh, key facts so hard times i'm talking about that uh, car so this car was mentioned in the book and uh, it it's very very interesting for me that i i have an idea about that car and i was thinking that what was that morris minor so it is very it create a good habit to me to how to write e uh, read e text uh, and uh, with the help of e text we we can, and uh, with help of especially if you if you have a laptop you can do a multitasking like uh, one side i was uh, reading the novel that uh, i was reading the novel and uh, highlighted the thing that which kind of thing is very interesting then on another side i was uh, uh, keeping this uh, chart uh, and on another side i was uh, i was uh, writing a memory uh, uh, right uh, try to uh, capture the kind of uh, things like uh, short uh, in a short sentence i was trying to uh, summarize the whole things so i prepared this or uh, google in, in a google keep that uh, it helped me to understand each and everything and especially most of the contemporary events and uh, it divided in a three part and uh, it carries the three part summary so it uh, it's and uh, another thing is that Uh, working with digital text uh, help a lot to you like uh, uh, with the highlightation uh, uh, you have also the comment box so uh, at the middle of the um, this um, book i found that the comment box is, uh, box is very easy then uh, uh, putting down notes on other way so uh, for example i'm searching one comment box like um, yes then i also um, uh, mentioned the various event in this uh, e text let me find so uh, these kind of colors like uh, it is uh, hard for me to understand what it uh, actually means so i colored it a uh, pink then some of the interesting thing i colored it a uh, uh, yellow in hard copy it is a uh, tough because uh, there is the no that much kind of space and we cannot uh, so, uh, write so many things at there and comment box yeah like this kind of errors then now then it is the malta story what is the malta story then here uh, the pole uh, talk about the various kind of sex then 
that part ends here. Mm. This initial conversation is uh, entire conversation is very important. Mm. I'm searching for one comment book so I can show you how I do that. The entire process is very interesting because, yeah, like uh, the way Susan Lowe uh, uh, spoke, you can do so many things with it, like for Paul's diary entries. So it is easy to easy for us. Paul's situation and how uh, now he started the living on, on a different life with him. So uh, with this help and uh, yes, uh, uh, for clicking here on highlight, you found that add comment. So you can write on down here like uh, what kind of sentence are telling about this. So I'm not. Um, I'm not able to searching right now comment box because I put a very less comment box. But um, if I'm searching, I try to it. If, 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 if. So yes, working with the digital tools and etx will become very easy for us. Uh, and uh, now I'm lo I'm learning, and still I uh, still I, I can say that it is very um, good rather than reading a hard copy. So. It become very easy for us to understand so many things. We can uh, quickly Google it out what the, it is means. Dictionary also open there. So uh, this learning outcome about like uh, how digital text help us to reading uh, reading this kind of bulky text. Like I also draw the lines. So yes, it's my learning outcome. And uh, one another thing is that uh, uh, I also learned that how to prepare a chart because I don't know how to prepare a diagram or a chart, you know, uh, PPT. So they had told me that you have to do this. And I told you, Marathi, why, can, why are you not understanding? So you tell me that you have to do this. And finally, I learned so many things, you know, editing. I uh, Rarely I edit so many things. And you all might know that my PPT was so bad in the manner of um, this kind of uh, presentation and uh, all these things. So uh, these new things I have learned in you know, how to create a very sharp presentation. And uh, oftentimes she told me that justify your paragraph, justify your paragraph, justify your paragraph. So this kind of habit, uh, habit now developed in myself. And most uh, important thing that I was thinking that it is hard to read ePDF and entirely PDF, but uh, with the help of only story and with uh, this group, I can do this. And I learned that uh, working with e-text e is very easy rather than working with a hard copy. So thank you. Now I would like to call Riti for further. Uh, yes, thank you, Nidhi. So first of all, this novel is very difficult to uh, read because it is a memory based uh, novel and uh, it was quite difficult for me <clears throat> to read and understand these all things uh, like Paul's memory and uh, character of Suzanne and all things. And uh, as they are mentioned that uh, keep documenting. So uh, this one thing I <clears throat> learn that uh, keep all the notes and uh, documenting all the things and uh, one thing uh, which happened with me that when I was editing this slide and all things so my uh, laptop charger uh, was dead so, and uh, some issues in my uh, laptop so I uh, edit all these slides in the mobile phone so there were many issues I had faced while working on mobile and uh, uh, yes uh, about group task so it was a very great experience with uh, all this member and quite challenging because this uh, and thank uh, thank you then these are uh, work cited and if you have any queries suggestions questions so you can contact us thank you and now i would like to call sir please come here and give a suggestion and further discussion. 